Hey guys, in this video we're going to be building the roller coaster, but you might be thinking from past videos that we haven't actually finished designing it. But you know what? Doesn't matter. We're going to go through what I've done right and what I've done wrong, and together we're going to start building the roller coaster up to the chain lift. Welcome to the Roller Coaster Project. What I first mentioned was that the roller coaster is not fully designed, but like real roller coasters, it doesn't actually have to be. Mainly wooden roller coasters, being that they're made in the field. There might be some oddities or something that they didn't pick up on the field survey that they have to account for. Or maybe the uh, client wants another turn or more banking or could be whatever. So for this ride, I have it designed, and we saw from the last couple of videos, from the station all the way down to the bottom of the very first drop. And of course, we know we did all the math through it. Um, but the things that I was having trouble with, tracking the roller coaster, which we're going to do a little bit of, um, how are we going to get that kind of going together, how to cut a circular curve. Um, that tool that I had to make is actually right behind me. It's a gigantic beam compass. And probably one of the most complicated parts was how are we going to connect it to a board or what a, we need a foundation. And uh, I messed up <laughs> a lot. Um, I'm sure if you followed along on my Instagram account uh, the roller, at the Roller Coaster Project, you've seen there's been a whole different couple of types of foundations. Uh, one thing that I tried to do, um, something very similar was to machine this out almost like a puzzle piece and to have little screw holes in there so that way everything lines up together with equal spacing. Didn't work at all. So I thought about it, why don't I buy a whole bunch of aluminum angle, quarter inch. This also didn't work, these aluminum angles, so I have a lot of angled aluminum. So I made this kind of modified version. Now this modified version has the holes drilled out so they sit upright. This kind of foundation is what I settled on, however I wasted a lot of wood and a lot of metal on these other ones and a lot of time. But other than that, guys, you know, thank you for following me along. We're going to go into the shop real quick, and I'll show you around what I've been working on. I have a cheap little belt sander from Harbor Freight, but it works wonders for cutting the tabs off of uh, the machined wood. And if you've been following on Instagram, like I said, you've probably seen some of the progress. As always, guys, thanks for following along. Like this video. Leave a comment below and if you have any questions. Offer some advice. I've had a lot of people do that as far as the lathes, as far as just simple machining procedures. So subscribe below. Share it. I appreciate it. Thanks for following along, and I'll talk to you guys soon.